Welcome to the NBA desktop. Woo! From Sloan. It's great to be one of five people of color in this room. Um, here is Kyrie Irving making a really incredible, hold on, let me get, the, let me get this on right. The darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. And the Kyrie Irving challenge. And I've come to talk with you again. Put up your hand if you can be sad on camera. All right, ready? My old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Think about the earth being round. Of course, Kyrie has gone through this before. Here is LeBron dadding on Kyrie. I told you not to play Xbox, like before seven. And here he is with Jason Tatum, who's now realizing that Pascal Siakam is better than him. <laughs> Kyrie, of course, loves to give statements. Here he is asked how confident he is in the team. Also, like, notice the truth hat from the from the flat earth guy. But anyway, here he is. What's your confidence level in this team? Going forward, huh? What's your confidence huh? level? What? You heard me, mother. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm right here. You got a lot question. Is that <laughs> a legitimate question? I mean, I just, you know. Nah. How do you feel about this team? Okay, next question. What kind, of, what kind of what kind of question is that? How dare they ask you that when you're wearing your truth hat? First of all, when are these young guys going to stop letting you down? You know what you should do. I think you should uh, you should uh, head down Highway 95. Go to New York. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and now, with some spice, Daryl Morey, who I believe is the general manager of a uh, basketball Still. team. You were telling me the other night that soccer sucks. So I did not say soccer You said sucks. it was garbage. You said it was a garbage sport. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said they, they, it needs to be fixed. Basically, any sport where if you lose a player, your odds of winning don't change much is, right. is a problem. Their penalties are messed up. Too many people on the field, the field's too big. They count the clock up instead of down. I mean, who does that? But that I think, isn't sense. that more, like, they're more uh, comfortable with uh, you know, the existential um, reality of death, and therefore the, the, the what clock are you saying? counts down. <laughs> <laughs> so what would, what, would Maury, what would Maury soccer look like? It would be seven on seven, the clock would count down, we'd have hockey substitutions, free-flowing, there'd be more scoring. Uh, penalty kicks would be like you dribble up like they used to do in MLS. I mean, I have a whole, I have a whole thing. If I was prepared, you didn't... What? It is a what? Uh, you heard it here first, soccer is trash. There you go. <laughs> Lakers doing great. You're distracted by playoff pushes and you know, all the stuff that we're talking about this year. And that, you know, who is he, who is he talking about? Do you, do you think it could be like the five players that he tried to have traded for Anthony Davis who are distracted? Do you think any one of them are possibly distracted by the fact that their teammate and boss as recently as last week was like, get these motherfuckers out of here immediately? Oh, James Jones. So Josh Jackson, who's a bust, is that fair? Oh, Josh Jackson had a autograph signing appearance booked. Did not show up, which is cool. And so Sun's interim general manager, James Jones, just bought everybody beer. Question like, is everybody <laughs> they're 21? Like, were there children? Did he card everybody? He's like, here you go, kid. This is what this is life. <laughs> Even time to learn about it. Sometimes your heroes disappoint you, they don't show up. Well, get this kid another beer. And now with some spice about the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, Rachel Nichols of the jump. Woo! We're here at Sloan, MIT. There's a lot of very fancy people here. There's gonna be the future leaders of America are all here, and I have a message for all of you. There is no welfare for billionaires. I am done. Done, done, done with public funding for stadiums. You should not be paying for these very wealthy people who are off buying their like 18 story yachts. By the way, have Unbelievable. you seen these yachts? These yachts are ridiculous. Ridiculous. You could, like, park three football yachts. fields on these yachts. And Burn yet they the yachts. want you to pay for their football field. Don't do it. Rachel Nichols 2020, thank you very much. Akio Settlement. Uh, so this is Kobe's. Um, this is Kobe's. <laughs> Kobe wrote a book from the mind of basketball legend and Academy Award. I can't believe they gave Kobe an Academy Award. <laughs> Kobe Bryant comes this radically original portrait of five young basketball players. Whoa, we're getting crazy already. So it's like Harry Potter, but for basketball players. First of all, there's two blurbs. One is by Kobe, which is not great. Not a great sign. And here is Kwan, age 14, Newark, New Jersey. A, re a real person, right? Because this is how 14-year-olds uh, speak. In the simplest of terms, <laughs> this book is amazing. It's a perfect little trap. It hauls you in and never lets you go until you finish reading. That's how a 14 year olds speak. In the simplest of terms. Can I leave uh, this in there? I'm a panelist, yeah, but they're, sure. not, they're not panelists. Let's just walk around and see if we get anything. Well, you did really pick the wrong time to come out here. What 
fucking mess. There's various levels of suits here. There's like the suit and sneakers, which shows that you're you're a cool guy and you're ready to you know you're ready to hit the pickup gym. Yeah. And then there's like shirt no tie, which is the kind of you've achieved something in life and you're showing off how casual you can be. It's like a casual display of power that you have. And then there's suit and tie, which is mainly for the lower level people who are trying to, you know, it's like dress, dress for the job you want. This gentleman here, like the, the vest under oh, the jacket. Yeah. It's Silicon Valley type thing. And I've seen billions once. So this is Autostat, so we're taking uh, live broadcast video and transforming it into tracking data. Jordan versus LeBron debate. What if we had tracking data for Jordan compared to LeBron? Have quantitative measures of speed, distance creation, stuff like that. You can tell you can tell how much money he has on the game through his, through his <laughs> exactly. physical exactly. stance. And is this similar to the technology that China uses to control the weaker minority? No comment. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing VR. I'm not home running. It's cold season, cold and flu season, and you're gonna put a mask on that other like 500 people have worn, and you're gonna wear it over your eyes. And it just seems like it's not, I'm not gonna do it. Man, this is really digestible stuff here. The idea is this is going to popularize curling. That's out. That's not good enough. Okay. Curling. Still not cool. And now with some Laker spice, Mina Kimes from ESPN. So last night, I went through the full take cycle. So I was watching the Lakers game and Brandon Ingram was incredible. Woo! He's been really good. So I was like, I think I put on Twitter like, if Brandon Ingram, he was this awesome, like early in the season, the Pelicans totally would have made that trade, right? I, and yeah, that's, is that even a hot take? Somebody wrote back to me, get woke. He was dogging it so he wouldn't get traded. Oh! And I was like, like the brain, you know, <laughs> enlightened brain meme. I was like, what? So I sent that tweet to various people. I'm like, what have you thought about this or whatever? And then I woke up and I was like, wait, but now he's playing well, so he's more likely to get traded this summer. So that actually made zero sense. So now I don't believe it. It was like my third eye opened and then it shut closed really quickly. <laughs> Whoever tweeted that at me, I hate you. That's some spice. <laughs> Faye Blocks. Woo! You guys remember Ja Rule? Are we ready? Yes, no. <laughs> it's important to state the conduct. He was playing in halftime. Uh, totally got the respect he deserved because the players were just literally shooting around. Um, here's my favorite recent Jaw song. We did flat out lie to the public about what we we're giving him. I mean, that's fraud. That's not fraud. That is, uh, I would call that. Uh... <laughs> it's not fraud. That was great. I fave it. I fave all of it. Uh, let's take a look at the Warriors' chemistry, which is just like crackling. <laughs> I mean, but you gotta warm up, yeah. right? It looks great. I fave that. Nelly Ball. Don Nelson. Coach, I know you live in Hawaii, right? So. Yeah, I've been smoking some pot, actually. <laughs> it's not even, not even the question. Uh, coach, I, I see you're wearing a suit that, yeah, I've been smoking weed. <laughs> I fave it. Marv Albert, I don't know what to say about that. half better, just polish, the For three, let's look at it again. Better, just polish, the Is that three feet inside the line? Better, just polish, the No, they say it's a two-pointer. Yeah, they do say that. They do say that because it's clearly a two-pointer. <laughs> it was not even close. Good job. You haven't lost your fastball literally at all. I block it. Come on, Marv. And now, with some spice, Sloan Robot. Hello. Hi. I track the data for every motion a pitcher makes on the mound. What? A pitcher makes on the mound. I will destroy human kind and wear its flesh over Ooh. Its skin. I gotta say, not even particularly spicy. <laughs> Thank you, Sloan Robot. KOC. Is he here? Wow, the power. <laughs>